So, space time, what is it? You've probably heard about it before in sci-fi films, whatever, but do you really know what space time is? <clears throat> well, what is it? So, space time is a coordinate system based on the three uh, spatial dimensions of space. So, you have length, width, depth. And it has a fabric of space, which is, <clears throat> think of it as a trampoline, where if you put weight on it, it will distort. And also, time is interconnected with the fabric of space. So, why is space time important? Many physics uh, theories use space time to <clears throat> calculate equations, figure out why the universe is the way it is. So, all of these different theories use space time in different ways. One is special relativity developed by Einstein. Basically, special relativity says that there are infinitely many reference frames in the universe, and that there's no absolute, absolute reference frame that is more important than the other ones. So what this means is that I have a reference frame, and everyone else does. Every object in the universe has its own reference frame. Every planet, every star, every person, every atom, every quark in an atom has a reference frame. So if you're wondering what a reference frame is, Here's a basic explanation. So if I look to my right, and everyone in the audience looks to their right, we're looking in completely opposite directions. So that means that my reference frame for left and right are much different than yours. And this it carries out throughout physics. So for relative speeds and um, like your relative positioning to other places. So that's why reference frame matter in different physics, and of course, different theories use it differently. <coughs> <laughs> so, imagine you have two clocks. One is stationary in space relative to you, and the other one is moving. It doesn't matter where or how fast, it's just moving. So the one that is stationary is ticking normally. You see it as you normally would see a clock. But the other one that's moving is ticking much slower. Now if you switch your reference frame and view, as the, moving, view the moving clock as stationary, while mo the moving clock is now stationary and whatever, you flip, flip your reference frame. <laughs> so, it's ticking normally. So what this means is, each clock is ticking normally for itself and for someone that views it as stationary. The other clock is always going slower because it's moving. And that is what special relativity is about. So another theory is general relativity. Oh, first of all, uh, that's called time dilation due to velocity. And so you, if you have two objects that are moving at different velocities, say one's stationary and one's moving, there's a time difference. And the closer you get to the speed of light, the more time difference there is. So general relativity, also developed by Einstein, basically describes the universe, so energy distorts the fabric of space. And due to E equals mc squared, which you've probably heard of, mass is energy. And to further explain on E equals mc squared, you can basically take out the C, which is the speed of light, and it, mass is energy, energy is mass, and it just relates those two quantities of space. So what this means is when energy or mass distorts space-time, you have time dilation due to gravitation. And the same effect occurs where time will slow depending on different factors. First is velocity, now it's gravity. So imagine the Earth is warping space-time, this trampoline-like uh, thing, and you have things circling the Earth. Satellites, the Hubble, GPS satellites, they all experience time differently than we do on Earth. GPS satellites constantly have to get their clocks retimed so no one will get lost on their way to wherever they're going. Black holes warp space-time much more than the Earth does. And there's a point where before you get pulled in or sucked in, whatever you want to call it, time is virtually at a standstill. That's called the event horizon. So if you have a spaceship that goes on the Earth, you might have time travel. <laughs> so if you can slow down time, does that mean you can travel in time? Yes, you can. So you can time travel. And there are different ways. However, before I say, yes, you can time travel, it really depends on your definition. You cannot go back in time as we know it. There are probably wormholes that you can use, but that's another topic completely. So, if you go 99% the speed of light, yes, you can travel in time. A few weeks for you could be a few years or hundreds of years for people back on Earth. You can, you'll always experience time the same way. It's one second after another. But that second might be a year for someone else. And that is how time travel is possible with space time. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm a physics major at ASU, so yeah. <laughs>